up Sailor Senshi? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news and merch reviews. Today I have a very large box. Here, I'll show you. It says Fragile on the side, so you know that it's a very important one. This is from Premium Bandai. It's a whole bunch of stuff that I sent over to from Japan, which is a warehouse that I use in Japan to stock up on a bunch of things that I buy for 45 days, and I just got my shipment. So I wanted to open it on this show for you and let you see what I got from from Japan. So I'm gonna go ahead and break into this like I usually do and I will show you everything after I get it out of the box. Okay, I have everything out of the box so I can finally start showing you everything. The first thing I think I'll start with is going to be Ah, so this was pretty hard to find. It's a limited edition, only available on Premium Bandai and through the Sailor Moon store, little card case. So this features Sailor Moon's bedspread print. It's very simple. You can tell that it's not real leather or anything. It doesn't smell like it, but it's really pretty light purple color and it has crescent moons, little white bunnies, and little purple stars on the front of it. Uh, there's also a really cute little gold bow on the front that's made out of metal. Actually, it might be plastic. And if you open it, it simply has room for cards. So I have used this as a little miniature wallet for uh, my trip to Disneyland recently, and it worked perfectly well for that. Uh, I did open this up previously. I cheated a little bit. I really like the interior too. It looks kind of like a wallpaper because uh, it has those yellow stripes and purple stripes down the center. So it looks really pretty. Uh, as far as slots go, it has one, two, three for five slots on the inside, and then it has one external slot. So you have plenty of spaces for credit cards. The next two items I got are from a company called Petio. And again, yes, I did cheat a little bit on this. I opened it when I received it just to make sure that nothing was broken. Uh, but this was something that I wanted to go ahead and take out of the box for my cats. So this is from Petio, and I'll show you some video here of my cats actually using this thing. It's a little cat bed. So it has a little roof over it and your kitties can go inside. Uh, unfortunately, it is a little bit small. It's, let's see, 45 by 38 by 35 centimeters. I believe that's the correct information on here. And then it looks like the bedding itself is 19 by 18 centimeters. So it's a pretty small little bed for your kitties, but my cat Luna, my little black cat, she loves the thing. Although unfortunately, Starbuck is a little bit too big. So we got her a cat bed from Target because we felt really bad about having a cat bed that she couldn't actually sit in. And that's her outside the door. This is also for the cats, although they don't quite know it yet, but this is a little like cat neck rest. So they can sleep on this thing. They can use it as a little pillow. So I will probably put this inside the bed for Luna since she will have room for it, uh, just so she has something to lean against. Cause she, I know from experience, Luna loves to lean against things. Like when I sleep at night, she lays right against my legs and she loves doing that. So I think that this is something that she might actually use. If she doesn't, that's fine too. I think it's really adorable. A little too small for my head though, so I hope one of the cats uses it. Both of these are still available on the Petio website, uh, although it is only in Japan, so you would have to go through a Japanese address to actually purchase them. The next item that I got is from, I think these are from Gourmandise or something, but they are uh, one of those 25th anniversary logo type things. I thought these were really cute. Uh, they are Sailor Moon Bluetooth earphones. There's a little wired controller that sits in line with the cable and that includes a, looks like volume up and down. It also has micro USB on there. So that's probably for charging. And then the center one looks like a hang up button so you can hang up a call. And then on the front of those two little earbuds, we have the Cosmic Heart uh, Transformation Brooch. So we have some really pretty iconic art on the front of those two. And the cable itself is white. The controller is pink. I can't really tell you anything else regarding these Bluetooth. Oh, here we go. That's important. These are Bluetooth 4.2. So they are not Bluetooth 5.0, which is the newest version of Bluetooth, which is a little bit more secure. These are 4.2. Uh, so that's something to consider with these is that they are a little bit older. I don't know how they sound. Um, I am like an audio video reviewer. I'm a tech reviewer uh, by trade. So I'm definitely going to try these out, see how they sound. And then I will probably post that review and that actual synopsis of the information over on my Instagram. 
Instagram. So follow me at Sailor Snubs on Instagram if you want to see these. By the way, I wanted to mention that I have a Patreon account as well. So that's where I usually post like travel tips because I do travel a lot for work. I also do a lot of travel photography uh, in the meantime, and I do a lot of like really cool edits to my travel photography. I post high resolution ones that are free to download over there too. So if you're interested in supporting me with what I do here and my other YouTube channels, definitely consider checking out my Patreon account. I'll put that link in the show notes. Okay, so moving on, next thing we have is a 25th anniversary Cardus collection. So this is another one of those like limited edition Cardus collections. This one is complete with a whole bunch of prism cards and you also get stickers that you could put on your card machine if you have one of those machines. So I don't, so I usually just use these like on the front of my laptop. So we have one, two, three different sticker sheets and each of these sticker sheets has some really pretty art on it. I don't think these are vinyl or anything. They feel like paper, so they would rip off of whatever you put them on. So they will be permanent once you put them on there. As far as the cards go, um, we do have some like advertisement cards that just talk a little bit about like which cards you get in the series. And then for the prism cards, we get one, two, three. Let's see how many we get. Okay, unless my counting was incorrect, it looks like we get 32 cards. These do feature um, different images from a whole lot of the different seasons. So the seasons vary, like this one is from Sailor Moon R, this one is from Sailor Moon Super S, but as, oh, and here's one from Stars. So those were the last three that I had in this little collection. But if I flip through these really quick, they look really pretty. It looks like they use the same kind of prism printing on each of the cards. And the cards do feature a variety of art styles. So some of them include attacks that the sailors are doing. Um, some of them are simple art, like promotional art for the anime. And that's pretty much it. So they are very pretty cards. I really like how they do the graphics on these and Prism is always nice. Who doesn't like sparkly things? So I will go ahead and set those aside and continue to the next item, which has some beautiful, beautiful foil print on the front of it. And this is some art that I've never actually seen before. So this is gold foil art on the front of some new fountain pens with ink. These feature Princess Serenity and Prince Endymion. And then the front of it says Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon. And it has this beautiful foil, like almost like shadow glass type of art on the front of it with uh, Princess Serenity and Prince Endymion again. It's a really nice, almost pearlescent kind of box. So it's kind of a shiny box. And when you open it, you get some more art on the inside, which is, I believe this is new art as well. It says, I will always be by your side, Serenity. I remember my beloved Endymion. It's really pretty. And then it also features the prince and princess in a field of roses. And both of them are in their normal outfits right there too. So very, very beautiful. We also get a little instruction manual on how to use the fountain pens and the ink. There is a little slip of paper from the manufacturer, the branding. And then we actually get to the fountain pens and the ink. Yay. So we have prince, which is in navy. I am not going to open this bottle because I'm wearing white. So knowing me and how clumsy I am, you see me drop things all the time. I'm not going to open this, but it has silver like shadow kind of foil print of uh, Prince Endymion on the front of that one. It's a pretty small bottle, but I feel like it'll last a long time. And the one of Princess Serenity, it says Princess Gold. And that one features gold foil artwork of Princess Serenity. And this one, when I shine it in the light, I can definitely tell that it is a gold ink. However, I'm sure in the camera right now, it probably looks black, but it is a gold ink. Again, not gonna open it cause I'm clumsy. And I'll go ahead and show you the fountain pens cause they're really, really pretty. So the first fountain pen features Prince Endymion with a uh, silver print and it is a navy colored fountain pen. Uh, you screw the cap back onto it to actually close it and it does have a little clip so you can clip it on the things and it's sparkly and I really like that they included a nice sparkle because it kind of looks like a bunch of stars in outer space uh, kind of like a twilight type of thing going on here so very very pretty so the princess serenity one also the same thing you unscrew the cap to open it but it has gold foil print of S princess serenity almost said sailor moon and uh, this one also has sparkles although they are much more muted and it's probably because the pen is white. I will try those out when I'm feeling brave. 
which I'm not right now because I'm wearing a white shirt. All right, so moving on, we have something that is currently trending in the fashion world, and I actually like them because I used to wear these to theme parks when I was, you know, a 13-year-old nerd going to Six Flags St. Louis, but now I actually wear them and I really don't care what people think, even, even if they think it's not that cool. I'm just like, whatever, you know what? These things are great. It's a fanny pack. Ta-da! This is from a collaboration with a company called WeGo, and WeGo did send a magazine with the purchase, and this features their entire Sailor Moon collaboration collection, uh, which is pretty cool. So I'll be able to flip through that and show you some of the pictures of other things included in this collection. But specifically, I just wanted the fanny pack because it is clear, which I love the clear kind of look. I think that's really cool. And it also features a little print of Luna. So there's Luna on the front of it. And the clear print is sparkly as well. The plastic is sparkly and it features a little white uh, zipper along the edges. It does say 25th anniversary on the little logo label. And to unzip this, man, they really squish this thing to get it in the bag, don't they? There we go. So this would be big enough to store like your cell phone, some money, some credit cards, and like your car keys. Maybe a little camera too, if you're at it if you're feeling like it but pretty much just what you would need to go to like a theme park or go to like a little festival or an event or something like that this would be perfect for that and it keeps it nice and safe and secure since it's a fanny pack you know it's on your waist the whole time uh, i do like these i think this is really cute and i am totally gonna wear this to like the fourth of july festival that happens in my neighborhood so really excited this one is also kind of well, I guess you could wear it to a festival or you could wear it to Disneyland or whatever. Uh, this is a backpack. So these backpacks were available on Premium Bandai. I believe that's the only place other than the Sailor Moon store that you could get them. Uh, there were two versions. There was this one that's just black and then it has a black print that's kind of plastered on there of, uh, it looks like all of Sailor Moon's transformation brooches. We have a gold moon and it says Sailor Moon right underneath it, and all the zippers are gold. The other one that they had was a little bit more of a loud print, and I like this one because it's kind of like a muted Sailor Moon uh, fashion accessory. It's not necessarily something that screams, I'm an otaku, which sometimes I want, sometimes I don't. So I thought this would be really nice for, you know, simple day trips and stuff like that, especially since I travel so much. It looks like a really nice backpack too, um, which is good and impressive given that I wasn't expecting much but it does not have side pockets for like a water bottle. The back is padded and it does look like it allows for some airflow. You can adjust the straps, which is good. The front pocket is really big and the interior pocket is just one big pocket, although there is a small slip in there for like car keys or something that you need to secure inside the largest compartment. Looks pretty large too. I don't know what the liter size is of this backpack, but it looks like something that I would definitely use. Uh, if you're in school too, this might be a really good option for you. <sighs> and the last thing on my list, I've been vying to purchase for a very, very long time and I decided to save up for it. So this got its separate like savings that I was waiting for to purchase it. But this was from Samantha Vega's collaboration line last year. Um, so it's been out for a long time. I was really worried that it would sell out before I got my hands on it. It comes with a uh, Samantha Thavasa Petite Choice little piece of paper that basically tells you that it's the real thing. So it does have printing in there that says this is an actual product that is licensed. So this is my new purse. It is genuine leather. Sorry for the vegans out there, but this is genuine leather and the original price of it is 150,000 yen. <laughs> So it's uh, 1,500 USD, basically. A little bit cheaper than that, but uh, yeah, so it's very expensive. Uh, but this is genuine leather, and that's part of the reason why. It also has uh, Swarovski crystals on it, I believe, on the strap that comes on the inside, which I'll show you in a second. And then it has this really nice gold on the front of it. Uh, this is also one of those things that is like a muted Sailor Moon style thing that you can carry around and nobody would really notice unless they knew what they were looking for. Uh, but on the front of it, on the gold piece, it says Sailor Moon Samantha Vega, and it has a print of the silver crystal, which is beautiful. It also has a few different uh, stones, which I believe are Swarovski little crystals on the sides. And if I unlock this and fold it open, 
Remember how I was complaining about the Grace gift bag and how it wasn't locking correctly because it was magnetic? This kind of lock won't come open because it locks it in place, like literally. You have to move this thing to the side for it to actually open. And that's something that I really like. That's high quality. So it does come with a handle that you can use. It also comes with a leather strap, which is also in white leather. So really pretty there. And whew, this one is heavy. I don't know if I'll use this one because it's just huge and extra. God, you could kill somebody with this thing. It's so heavy. It's like it's really, really, really thick metal. But uh, this is the other shoulder strap that you can use with the purse. Uh, this one features the silver crystal. Actually, I'll hold it this way so it's right side up. So it features the silver crystal. It also features a whole bunch of crystals down the row. Uh, we have a little crescent moon with a star in the middle, and then we have some regular like octagonal type of crystals on there as well. Very, very pretty, but again, heavy. And this one is also like so extra that I'll probably just keep it in its wrapper. I might take it out actually, who am I kidding? I'm gonna take it out so we can see what it looks like and see the sparkle, but I will likely just use the leather uh, white shoulder strap to actually use this purse, but this is a very, very pretty one. I love collecting the purses, so this is definitely something I wanted to add to my collection. I also don't collect that many uh, purses and wallets and stuff like that. I usually collect like one from each of the different collaboration lines that they do uh, per year. So this is like the big one from last year's collaboration was this purse. And of course, guess what fell over? The ink. Yeah, that's what just hit the floor. It's a good thing I didn't open it. All right, everybody, let me know what your favorite item from this little line of products was. I hope you enjoyed it, and some of these are still available on the Premium Bandai website, so I will link to them below. I will put the prices below so you know how much I've paid for them, and if you have any questions as usual, comment them right down below because I do check those comments as much as possible. Thank you so, so much for your support. Definitely check out my other videos while you're here, and don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next time. I'm Sailor Snubs. Johnny. Bye.